Hi everyone, this video is my pool plan for the second half of December 2020 in BFFO global version of the game. And as per the infographic on the left hand side, this pool plan video covers the arc with uh, Sephiroth LDBT as a synergy unit. And there are three events uh, in this arc. So first of all, there's the Heretics event coming up soon at the time of making of this video and then we have Karen's Lost Chapter and finally we have Root's debut event Quick disclaimers, as always, this pool plan is meant for informative purposes only by no means it should be considered the best strategy for everyone I'm a firm believer that there is no one best approach to the game and there are many viable ways to play There are also of course many factors that should be considered when one decides to pull such as your current resources, gems and tickets who your current roster is complete with or who you have built up in your current roster which content do you actually need to clear because there are certain mechanics that requires specific types of characters and of course who your favorites are personally my pool plan is very heavily influenced by clearing Chaos Challenge quests which requires you to bring 3 synergy units from the event to complete the quest so I tend to try to pull so that I at least get enough synergy units to cover the event if I do not have the minimum required 3 synergy units because of that also my pool plan tends to favor the featured character with LDBT because they are a synergy unit across three events rather than one. With that said, let's move into the video. So first of all, we have the Heretics event featuring the release of Sephiroth LD and BT weapon. Now at the time of making of this video, there's a lot of rumors going on that there may be an early rework for Sephiroth coming up in the global version of the game. However, because nothing is confirmed and I personally think that it is unlikely that the rework will happen so the video or the pool plan factors with the assumption that there will not be a rework for Sephiroth So there are 6 characters in the Heretics event that are Synergy Sephiroth, Sars, Snow, Galuf, Jack and Ignis I already have everyone's EX weapon, so the only weapons that I'm missing on this banner is the newly released LD and BT weapon for Sephiroth. And really, I think that uh, if you're hurting for gems and resources, particularly because Cloud is just around the corner after this event, and Cloud is a very good unit to pull for, if you need to save, you, you can actually, actually get by without Sephiroth. For me, I'm actually planning to throw tickets on Sephiroth's banner until I get his LD weapon uh, and really again that's because I just want to use Sephiroth as a synergy unit across these three events uh, so that I can complete the chaos challenge As a DPS unit, he is a viable DPS in Lufenia but there are also many other viable DPSs so again if you are hurting for resources and you need to find banners to save uh, and especially if you are not too fast about completing the chaos challenge in the heretics event if it's not your top priority you can very safely skip this banner um, and pull for future banners with your limited resources Before I move on, um, so for the synergy unit in this event, I, I plan to use Sephiroth as one, Sars as the second, and either Galuf or Snow as a third. I have Sars, Snow, and Galuf all fully maxed out at 3-3, three, three. Uh, so I don't think the chaos challenge in this event is going to be too difficult for me. Okay, so moving on to the next banner after that is Karen's Lost Chapter, um, featuring the release of Karen's uh, LD weapon as well as a rework for him and his banner mates is Kral and Lil Assuming that I managed to get Sephiroth's LD at least I will use Sephiroth, Kral and Lil for the Chaos Challenge quest 
I already have Crow and Lil's kit, uh, but I only have Crow and Lil at 0 out of 3 realization, and I'm hoping that having Sephiroth 3 3 with the LD and 0 3 Crow and Lil is enough for the Chaos Challenge. I am not a big fan of Karen. He is quite decent after his rework and the release of his LD weapon, but um, I, I also want to actually save my resources and I think uh, I won't be using Karen far into the future anyway, so this is a banner where I'm planning to skip. I may try to pull for Karen if I am not able to complete the Chaos Challenge with Sephiroth, Prowl and Leo, but uh, I will only do so after attempting it with that team and I'm fairly confident that it should be doable with uh, that party setup anyway. Last but certainly not least, I think in this arc, this is the highlight banner, so which is Ro uh, Root's uh, debut event, apologies for the typo on the title, uh, it's uh, Root and not Reno. Uh, there are five synergy characters here, so Sephiroth and Kieran return, uh, since this is the event after Kieran's last chapter. And then we have Root, Yuffie, and the twins, Lan and Rin, being the other banner mates. This is a fantastic banner to pull on, mainly because Root is a very strong unit. Um, he has very high attack power. And he also boasts excellent team support in terms of uh, team healing and battery. So I will be probably using gems on this banner, uh, especially assuming if I don't get Sephiroth's burst weapon from earlier banners. And I'm also missing, of course, all of Root's kit. So using gems, I think, will be the best way forward. As for the Chaos Challenge here, I already have Yuffie built up at 3 3, so I will be using Sephiroth. Root and Yuffie for the Chaos Challenge in Root's event. So that's it. Um, thanks a lot. So long story short, I plan to throw tickets until I get Sephiroth's LD. Hopefully I don't have to spend too many tickets. I will skip Karen, uh, other than the free pool. The one thing that I forgot to mention is uh, all the banners here also feature a first multi pool uh, that is free. So of course I will be doing the free multi pool before I follow the pool plan, uh, but beyond that um, I will be following this um, pool strategy. So tickets for Sephiroth LD, skipping Karen, and gems for Root's entire kit. Personally, in terms of MLB priority, and the way I look into this is depending on the resources, right? So if you only have resources to pull an MLB one character. I would think Root is the best character. If you have resources to pull an MLB more than one character, then Sephiroth is a decent second choice uh, for me. Uh, Karen is also a good option, but um, I don't plan to pull on his banner anyway, so I, I left him out of the, the MLB priority list. That's it. So thanks a lot for your attention. Hope that uh, this pool video has been informative for you. And I will also of course love to hear your pool plans as well. Till then, see you in the next video. Bye bye.